Today, we are talking about how the mysteries of the rosary connect to our life. How these mysteries intersect into our lives. And there's something happened during this intersection. And this reflection will only allow you to be very precisely find out those moments in your lives. Welcome to watch my video. Thank you for being uh, part of this journey. Uh, you keep watching my videos and you have subscribed my videos. You have not. Then uh, this is an opportunity for you to hit the subscribe button down. And so that you can continually watch videos of spiritual nature, of biblical themes and definitely of uh, matters of concern. And so I invite you to share these videos with your friends and tell them to subscribe too. Today, we are looking at how the luminous mysteries intersect our life. I have a video on the joyful mysteries. Uh, I invite you to watch that video before this video because this is a series of four videos on joyful mysteries and the luminous mysteries, the sorrowful mysteries and the glorious mysteries. How these mysteries connect to our life. So kindly see the description below and you have the link of the joyful mystery. The joyful mysteries, kindly look, uh, watch that video and uh, then we will be ready to watch this video of the luminous mysteries. But I welcome you to watch this videos anyway. How are luminous mysteries connected to our life? The joyful mysteries become a foundation because it, it, it fills us with joy and it becomes a foundation that we start journeying deeper into the mystery of Christ. So joyful mysteries are very important. Once again, I remind you to watch that video before uh, watching the video on the luminous mysteries because the joyful mysteries, how they intersect in your life becomes a foundational experience to come deeper into a relationship with God. The five luminous mysteries, the baptism of the Lord, the wedding at Cana, the proclamation of the kingdom, transfiguration and institution of the Eucharist. All these mysteries definitely allows us to reflect on the face of Christ, on the journey of Mary, but it also reflect allows us to ponder on our life, how these mysteries reveal our lives, open our lives to come deeper and closer to God. Let us see how the baptism of the Lord is connected to our life. How, how is baptism of the Lord connected to our life? In, through the joyful mysteries, good news is announced to us. We have received the good news. We have in, taken the initiative to serve others. We have discovered God unexpectedly. We have kept the laws and the tradition of the church. And even if we have lost our initial calling, we rediscovered it. It brings us to the luminous mysteries. The baptism of the Lord is your readiness to grow in the life of Christ in a faith community. And therefore, you are, invite, you, are, you are committing yourself to go one step deeper. And they, you are illumined. You are enlightened. Your baptismal commitment, your baptismal commitment lifts the joy that you experience to a whole different new level. Your baptismal commitment lifts that joy, initial joy, to a different level. Wedding at Cana. How, how is wedding at Cana connected to our life? You may think it is not related, but it is related. The wedding at Cana is a powerful symbol of abundance. The, mo the moment you start, the moment you commit yourself to God, you discover, you taste abundance. You taste abundance. And that is a very powerful experience uh, of a follower. You have to experience the abundance in your life. The wedding of Cana is an opportunity for us to discover abundance. The moment you experience God's abundance in your life, I'm telling you, you become much more enlightened. To, to come to a very clear, to, your experience of abundance becomes a very key indicator that you are a follower of Christ. Because you have experienced abundance, and therefore, it propels you to go on this journey. Proclamation of the kingdom. What happens here? Since you have discovered your commitment through baptism, since you have experienced abundance, 
you become very clear in life. You there there comes a clarity into your life. Just as proclamation of the kingdom, Jesus proclaimed his mission. You proclaim your mission here on earth. But that depends because you have gone into this baptismal commitment. You have experienced abundance. It allows you to have this powerful clarity in life. You crystallize your mission, something very concrete and yet very demanding. And therefore, you will say, I will do this for the Lord. A transfiguration, the luminous mystery of transfiguration. What has transfiguration got to do with my life? Jesus manifested to his followers the glory that is yet to come. Transfiguration gives us the foretaste of the glory that we are about to experience. As a follower of Christ, you will always have a foretaste of what is coming. And that gives you, that gives you committed, it keeps you glued, it keeps you attracted, it keeps you fascinated to be a follower of Christ. And therefore, the experience of transfiguration, the foretaste of what is going to come into your life, it's it's very it's 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 a moment of grace. It is because of transfiguration you begin to see your life is something bigger. You feel unworthy, yet you feel blessed to be part of this big plan of God. Yes, you institution of the Eucharist, yes, I get it now, is to break yourself and offer it to others. Because you have experienced the foretaste of what is going to come. You want to break yourself and share this lovely reality that has come into your life with others. So you are ready to break yourself and offer it to others, even to the point of death. You, Christ, Jesus gave himself to us. You willingly offer yourself for the good of others. You display behaviors motivated by the love of Christ. You display behaviors that are motivated by the love of Christ. Now, both the joyful mysteries and the sorrowful mysteries become a quintessential quality of a follower of Christ. And therefore, as followers of Christ, we have to experience the joyful mysteries in our life. We have to be rooted in the, in the luminous mysteries of our life. And then we are ready to take this tough journey into the sorrowful mysteries. Kindly watch my video on the sorrowful mysteries and how these sorrowful mysteries are connected to my life and how can we go through this journey and go to the next stage of the glorious mysteries. Luminous mysteries draws us into a deeper commitment, gives us an experience in abundance, allows us to crystallize our mission and gives us the foretaste of what is to come. And definitely we are ready to offer ourselves. I have a video on sorrowful mysteries and how they are connected to your life and how you can journey through the sorrowful mysteries and reach to the glorified form with God. Dear friends, thank you for watching my videos and uh, I'm, I'm happy that you can watch the entire series of rosaries. Uh, you can look into my video list and watch other videos. Uh, thank you for being part of the journey and um, I know some of you, uh, you must have subscribed. If you have not hit the subscribe button, and share with your friends uh, these videos. Um, hit the like button and give me your feedback and blessings. Never forget to pray the rosary. Because this rosary, simple and profound, gives us 